Good morning. Happy Monday. It's April 1st, the first of the month. We got a bunch of new core exercises to focus on. If you're joining my core challenge or you're new to my page, we're going to be doing four exercises um, throughout the month. They're going to switch up every Monday. I'll go live on Monday at 7 a.m. and I'll introduce some new exercises for you to follow along with me or for you to do on your own throughout the week. We'll do this four times every Monday in April, um, hoping for a stronger core, more defined, more definition, and just a general feeling of happiness after you get these core workouts done, really just focusing on slimming down that waistline. Um, I suggest you are in a strength training program as well and you hit up some cardio during this, this month to see your, the best benefits, but it's always good to start small. You can always just start with this core workout. Um, I am going to start in just a minute. So you need no, ex, uh, no, no weights, no dumbbells, no kettlebells. You just need your body weight for this first uh, exercise for these exercises for this first session of the month. So we'll be doing four exercises, body weight only. Um, I'm going to go through them right now. So my goal is these take ten minutes, and then you are done for the day for your core. So really focus core work. Ten minutes is all you need, and then move on. For with the rest of your workout or the rest of your day, you can do these anywhere. So we'll start with the first exercise of the day is going to be a V up. So we're going to do these on a timer. We'll have 30 seconds of work um, and 10 seconds of rest to transition. We'll go through these three times. So to, just to review, a V up is you're going to lay all the way down on your back. You're going to come all the way up and touch your toes. Now modify by coming up as high as you can and coming back down. That's always an option if you can't get all the way up here yet. The goal is maybe by the end of the month you can. Okay, so our first exercise is a V up. Our second exercise is really physique focused, not so much core focus. It's a tempo bicycle crunch. You'll be doing that with me. We're gonna go elbow to knee, picking up that shoulder off the ground, and then rotating back and forth, okay? We'll be going at a slower pace and then speeding up. So follow along with me for that correct tempo. Our third exercise is going to be an up-down plank. So you can do this exercise from your knees or your toes. You'll be in a high plank here. You're going to come down to your elbow, elbow, and then up to your hands. Okay? Up, down, crunch. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Now, if you're on your knees, you can do the same thing. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Got a bunch of chest and back working in that exercise too. And the last one we're going to do is a dead bug with an extension. Okay? So, here's my dog, Augie. So, you'll be in a position here in your dead bug position, lower back on the ground. We're just going to be slow and controlled with this extension here. Okay? Sometimes we'll switch it up and do a little tap. So, just your body weight today. We're going to ease into this core workout challenge um, with just using our body weight for this first week. So I'm gonna get my clock ready and then we're gonna start. We have 30 seconds on the clock, 10 seconds of rest, we'll go through this four t uh, three times. All right, let me get my clock up here. All right, we'll start with that V ups in five seconds. All right, so we're on our backs. We're gonna come all the way down, all the way up, touch your toes if you can. All the way down, all the way up. Inhale on the down, exhale on the up. The goal is to create a V with your body. So if you can't get all the way up, you're going to modify by just lifting even just a little bit off the ground at the same time. Think about pushing that lower back towards the ground, zipping up that core. Three, two, rest and time. All right, we'll take a little breather here. We're doing tempo bicycle crunches next. So on your backs again. I want your shoulders coming off. So we're going to crunch, crunch, slow and controlled. Hold, crunch, crunch. We're going to speed it up in three, two, one. So now a little faster. Zip up that core. So belly button towards your lower 15. back. Back towards the ground. We're going to slow it down for the last 10 seconds. So crunch and hold, crunch and hold, crunch and hold. Good. Shoulder off the ground, full extension on that leg. Rest. And time. All right, you guys, flip it over. Up, down, plank is next. So 
step hands and toes, or hands and knees. You're going to pivot it elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Keeping those hips down parallel to the ground. I want you to envision your body parallel with the ground as you come down 15. and up on those elbows and on your hands. Down, down, up, up. We're almost there. And done. Yes. All right, flip it over. Our last set is a nice dead buck. So, 90 degrees with those legs, hands up like a dead animal, dead buck. We're gonna extend right leg, bring it back. Extend the left leg, bring it back. Notice how when I move my legs, one leg stays still, one leg moves. Zipping up that core, lower back towards the ground. If you need to put your hand on your abs to make sure that they're not pushing out, do it. We want to make sure everything is staying nice and tight. We're not coating our abdomen. And time. All right, one round done. Right into the second round, we'll start with those V-ups. Here we go. Extend your body nice and straight, and then come up, touch those toes, come back down. The challenging part of these exercises is that you don't get a lot of break. So if you're feeling really fatigued, this is only the first day and the second round. So take a quick break and then get back to it. Think about banging out a couple reps and then taking a break throughout this 30 seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, what's next? Tumbo crunches. We're going to start a little slow again. So I want that elbow or that shoulder off the mat. So crunch and hold, hold. Hold, 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 and we're moving fast, so crunch, 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 crunch. We got five Two. seconds to go here, and we're going to slow down again. And hold, we're slowing it down, hold, zip up that core, come on, you got it, three, two, and time. Yes. All right, flip it over, we're on our hands and toes. Our hands and knees. In that high plank, here we go. So down, down, up, up. Don't be too late. Let's go. You only got 30 seconds to make this happen. Push through the ground. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, push it away. Elbow, elbow, 15. hand, hand, push it away. You got it. We're almost there. By now, you should be feeling this in your core. It should be feeling a little fatigued. If you need to take a quick break and Rest. stretch, now's a good time in between rounds. But we're right back to dead bugs in three, two, one. We're going to tap, tap. Not an extension. This will give you a little bit of a break. Think about rolling your pelvis a little bit towards the ceiling, zipping up that core so your lower back's towards the ground. Good. 15, 15 seconds to go. One leg moves, one leg is still as a statue. This is a move where I like to take my time and make sure I'm really still. And time. All right, rest. Two rounds done, one round to go. You got this, we're almost done. V up, we're gonna start on again. If you need to stretch, flip it over, stretch out that the core, then get right back to it. Here we go, last set. Now imagine how you feel right now. A little fatigued maybe, abs are on fire. In a month, what is that gonna feel like? That version of you in a month is not gonna say, oh, I need to take a break. That person would keep going because they've already built those core muscles and they're ready to take on 30 seconds three times in a row. Here we go, and toss. All right, bicycle crunches, we're gonna start fast this round. So we'll start with a little fast crunch, full extension on those legs. Here we go, 10 seconds of moving. So crunch, 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 crunch. Inhale, exhale, zip up that core. We're gonna slow it down right here. So crunch and hold, crunch and hold, two seconds per side. 
15. Woo! Focus on your breath, get some oxygen to those muscles that are working so hard, and then we're moving fast. Last five seconds to go right here. Three, two, and ties. Ooh, my abs are on fire. All right, flip it over. Up down plank. So as we're doing our last up down plank, I'm gonna talk about taking some pictures. So down, down, up, up. If you are doing this for the month, today take a picture of yourself. Make sure you can see your core, not with a shirt on, maybe in your sports bra or with your shirt off. Yes, dude. Too. But I want you to take a picture because if you do this for a month and you stick with it, I guarantee you'll have some defined abs. You'll have some def defining muscles down there. And it's always great to see the progress. Rest. And time. Last one, you guys. We're doing our bed bus. So we're going to add an extension, not the taps this round. So if you can, here we go. We're working. Extend. Bring it back. Make sure your knees are far enough away from your chest that you feel some resistance. If they're up here, I don't feel anything. Push them away. So if you can, to take a picture. I know you maybe don't want to, but I promise you'll be happy you have it if you stick with the program for the month. You'll be happy to compare the picture from today versus the picture from May 1st. And time. Woo! That's it, you guys. We just did. 10 minutes of straight up core work, a little physique work, the difference between core and some of the exercises we do, some of them are physique, more physique based, some of them are more core, which is really where you want to strengthen your core, lower back, and your whole abdomen, rather than just you know the physique work, like bicycle crunches, but those are important too. So I like to hit it in both ways, core, physique work, all together to, to really sculpt that uh, midsection, the one that we all are working on to make it a little trimmer, maybe a little stronger, and get the results that we want. So happy Monday. Ha thanks for joining me on our first session. I'm going to save this. It'll be, it'll be posted on my Instagram Reels, and you guys can join it anytime. I, the goal is to do it five times this week, and then I'll give you a new set of exercises on Monday. Don't forget to sign up on my website for the core challenge. I'll send you emails, ticks and trips, ticks tips and tricks and um, reminders to get your exercises in and maybe even a giveaway. All right, have a great day. Happy Monday. Bye.